Hello guys, this is Alucardic60 here with the Mighty Number no. 9 Beta. I literally just downloaded this yesterday and it was really late at night so I only got to play it for like 30 minutes. Um, and then this morning I went and I went and recorded this, uh, recorded a first impression video because I had time to do so but I recorded for like an hour just to realize that my mic was off. So let me let me double check this time to make sure my mic is on. Just okay, okay. Mic is on. Just making sure. Um so yeah, that was the thing. But I am really I'm really excited about this game. Like when I first, I first got the beta. I, I just, I was jumping out of my chair. Um, and from the little bit I played, that hour and a half or so, I was really impressed with it. And I uh, just want to make a first impressions video. And it's a little bit, I still haven't beaten it yet. I got to the boss, but I didn't beat him. So I guess it's almost a little bit of a let's play. So, uh, let's get to it. Um, a lot of the options in the tile screen are missing. Like, if you've seen the recent gameplay videos, there's some things like the online co-op. And, of course, like a continue button or a load button is, is not there because you don't save. There's only one level, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what we do have is the new game tips and system options. Um, one thing to note there, I, I had to push the, I think it's the A button on an Xbox controller. I'm using a PS3 controller with Xbox drivers, but on a Xbox controller, I think it's A to uh, get into this menu and not the B button or X on a PS3 and um, I think that's a I think that's a Japanese thing that like they like um, if you've played Metal Gear Solid they did that too and I think they just didn't want to swap it to what the Ameri to Americans had started using the X button instead of the circle button or the B button instead of the A button on an Xbox controller. And I don't know if they're going to change that. I think they are, but this is something to note. Um, when I first got it, it was the default settings were 1280 by 720 in a windowed mode, so I set that to my native resolution and full screen. The The, uh, the default graphic settings were at um, the highest they'll go except for anti-aliasing which was off but I set them to the highest they go and it runs fine on my computer and I think my computer is a laptop it's a, I, I find it pretty decent for gaming but it's certainly no beast so I know it's not a full game yet, but I think that says that this game will probably be able to run pretty good even on uh, computers that aren't that great, which I think is a really nice thing. So we have all the, right now we have all the basic graphics things. I don't know how much they actually impact right now, because I haven't messed with them. I mean texture quality, mess quality, anti scene, depth of field, bloom the basic stuff, V-Sync, and then the audio settings is just volume right now. The calibration I think lets you rebind your keys on a gamepad. If you're going to rebind the keyboard keys, there is a um, any file if in the uh, the game directory I forgot which one it is exactly, but you need us to go in there and swap it around. Um, I dug through it a bit just to look at it, and uh, 
No. Okay. And uh, it it definitely looks like it's not made to be for the keyboard keys to be rebound yet. Um, I'm sure that will probably come, and I'm a little surprised that it's not already in the beta, but, uh, yeah, it's a little thing. Um, tips is basically a front-loaded tutorial, like they just tell you everything you need to know about the game, <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> sorry, and the controls, and then how the combat works. And if you, and if you go into new game without reading the tips first, it will give you the tips there, which I hope is something that's not in the full game because it's a little annoying when like I've already read the. My voice is getting weird. <clears throat> okay. Um, like for someone like me who's already read the tips and then. Uh, to just, I just want to play the game, so to get front loaded the tutorial again is a little weird, but I'll go through it anyway. So, the jump and attack button are. Wow, my voice. <clears throat> I have to excuse me. Uh, the jump and attack button are what you expect them to be on uh, PlayStation or something. And then the. To change your form, you either have to use the um, left trigger and left bumper, or the, I think that's the Y button. And I think the Y button is like it automatically moves you forward a form, and then you can use the left trigger and left bu bumper to like toggle through them. Pause is expected, and then move, set OK. Dashing is the R, it's R1, it's the right bumper, and that's an important button, but it's comfortable. The action shift button, which is the right trigger, is used in unison with other buttons. I don't know if it'll have anything special with extra forms for Beck, because right now I think you only have the default one. But what it does right now is if you hold down the right trigger and press jump, he'll jump backwards. And if you hold down the right trigger and press attack, he'll shoot out, he'll shoot while he jumps backwards. And so that's kind of an interesting thing. And then here's the key bindings for the keyboard. The mouse is used for attacking and dashing and then the scroll wheel is for form selecting. Um, you can also you move with WASD. You can also select your form with Q and E, and then R would be a quick change. Escape to pause. Shift is the action shift button, and Z also dashes. Um, space is the only button to jump. So those controls are a little. They do, they do look a little weird to me. I haven't tried them. Um, I mean, I don't use the action shift button very much, so it's fine that it's at shift. It's accessible, but kind of out of the way. You can already dash with the right mouse button, so having it mapped to the Z, which is really out of the way if you're using WASD, is probably okay. Um, it's a little interesting that they give you two options for form selecting. Um, I'd have to see how forms actually work. Um, oh, and if you're looking at the words on the right here, there's obviously a lot of um, problems with... Uh, is that the parser? Text parser? I think that's what they call it. So there's a lot of weird symbols in there that probably aren't supposed to show up and probably won't be in the finished uh, product. So let's get on to how combat works. The way combat works is that you shoot your enemy like you would in a basic Mega Man game or whatever, but then they destabilize like, um, like this picture and they'll have different stabilized, they'll have different colors depending on 
uh, what power up they give you, which is something we'll get into in a minute. When they're destabilized, you have to dash into them to um, absorb their power up and to destroy them faster. You can, if they're destabilized and you can just keep shooting them, then they'll eventually uh, be destroyed. But this is definitely the fastest way. Plus, it's the way you get power ups. So. The, the percentage is your cell absorption and the faster you get to it and dash through it the higher your uh, percentage is. If you, if you do a combo, if you get combos of 100% then you'll get uh, bonus points at the end of the stage. And these are absorption boosts, like the, the guy that they showed in the picture there was destabilized color was green, so that he back would get a mobility boost. Which, I'm not sure what, it, what mobility boost does, I think it makes you dash farther or maybe faster. I don't know, here are all the power-ups. We have the damage boost, mobility boost, a defense boost, and Number four is a life stock. The life stock basically acts as an E tank. You can, pa whenever you have one, you can pause any time in your game and just use it to completely refill your health. Um, boss battles use the same the same mechanic as well. Um, in the picture here you'll see there's a bit of the bar that's been destroyed but there's also this red part. Um, when you attack the boss they, you get this red bar starts filling up so you see how much damage you've done but the damage hasn't actually been applied yet. So you fill up and I think, I think that's I don't know 20% I think? Feels like about 20% and it might be different for different bosses but you fill it up to a certain point and then the boss destabilizes and once they're destabilized you can dash through them and that's when the actual damage from the red bar will apply um, I don't think the percentage matter the absorption percentage matters so if you get um, 40% let's say it should still do the same amount of damage as 100% it's just the uh, differences in the score I think but if you just leave them there destabilized they'll probably stabilize themselves again you'll have to go through the uh, you have to go through attacking them and bringing their bar back down I think I haven't it hasn't actually been a problem like if that's how it works it hasn't been a problem because I always dash through them almost instantly and it feels fine so uh, let's get to it the level select screen has 10 levels actually starting over here with the the city the oil platform the waterworks bureau power plant the mine the military base, which is the only level that you currently have access to in the beta. The radio tower, the highway, the official residence, and the prison. Um, they, they did mention in the email they sent out for the, uh, the code to get the beta on Steam. They did mention that they might update it later with one or two more stages. So we'll have to see if uh, something happens there. If not, then I don't know. So let's go. Um, the stage graphic wise feels pretty complete. Um, Beck doesn't really look complete. Like it's just 
his, the textures in the model just doesn't feel complete yet. Um, but that's about it. Well, I am having a little bit of performance issues now that I'm recording. It doesn't feel too big, but it's enough to throw me off a little bit. Um, so you see there I can dash through multiples and the uh, the turret guy there was green so I have a mobility boost now. Um, it feels really fast paced because of the dashing mechanic so it's almost enforced, it's almost promoting you to get through the level faster. Um, when I first played it, um, because of the whole fast paced thing, it I didn't pay attention to the bottom dialogue like at all. Which has me I don't know what to think of that. Um like I was thinking if depending on how they do the tutorial, if they do the tutorial kind of like an annoying thing like um call just pops up and you're hey back hey back you gotta do this and get that uh, in a really annoying fashion then it doesn't look like that'll be a problem for people who don't care about it because you can just ignore the message um, which I, I hope they don't do I don't think they will but um, But uh, it does bring a problem to the people who might need that knowledge because they'll probably be inclined to not pay attention to the messages either. Um, if you notice back here, uh, Mighty Number no. 2 actually showed up and laid waste to those items back there. This is an interesting thing that might have showed up in gameplay demos. I actually haven't been paying as much attention to the project as I really should have been. But um, there's another part where he shows up again. Actually, my num I'm sorry, my number two is a girl. They, they confirmed that recently. So my number two, <laughs> where she um, freezes up some enemies that were shooting at you from a distance. And, um, which is actually pretty interesting because I was digging through the gameplay files and there's, oh, wrong button, and there's the, uh, you can actually open up all the text dialogue in a text document and read it, and there was one line where, uh, Oh, yeah, he stabilized again. Way too long. Where, uh, she makes some kind of comment, like, um... It, looked, it sounded like she froze you. But, I never got that to actually happen in games, so I don't know what they're talking... What she's talking about there. Um, there's an interesting glitch in this room that really shows how incomplete this is currently where if you die in this room then when you respawn you respawn right in here so I mean if I were to plan like a speed run or something I'd actually probably use that glitch to my advantage if it was actually faster but that's definitely being fixed in the final game um, like, this is where I was talking about. So freeze the, uh... Actually, that might have been the line down there. I didn't pay attention to that line. That I was talking about. Um, here you might actually be able to see how incomplete Beck looks. Just compared to the other things. Um... If I get make it to the boss, which I should... I can show you... Oh, well, no, you can see it based compared to, uh... Oh, no! No! Oh, boy. Okay. That was... 
That was a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle, Johnny. I'm not gonna like this. No! No! Ah! That, that, that was... On purpose, I swear. I, um... I don't know. Can I edit that out? Am I allowed to do that? Um... Oh yeah, about the designs of the, uh doctors and call on the text in the uh, text box I'm not completely sure if that's final I mean I think the designs for the the general look of the doctors is final because in the banner for the uh, Beck anime their animation they look pretty much the same so I don't think that their designs are really going to change too much, but if that's, I don't know if that's the actual graphic they'll be using in the text boxes or not. So we'll have to see about that. I'm actually taking this a little bit slower than I have been. The first time I played through this, I just... I just dashed through everything because it was awesome. Um, another thing about about dashing, um, you have no invincibility frames when you're dashing. So if you dash into a bullet or an enemy, you get hit. And um, that that just feels off to me because I think I feel like there should be a few frames where you're just invincible. So you can um, dash through bullets or something. Um, just not necessarily make it easy to do, but possible. Like if you are really good in the enemy, with, if an enemy was small enough and you timed it right, maybe you could dash. Oh shoot. Okay. Maybe you could dash through an enemy or something. But that would be even harder than dashing through a bullet. I just think it would be a cool tiny mechanic that they, if they added that. Um, which they might. Again, this is beta. This is far from complete. Like, there's only one level for... So... Um, the controls feel pretty good right now. Um, I'm not complaining too much. Um, there were a few sections that it felt like the controls really got me bad. Oh, that bad section is actually pretty bad. Because he, he can push you into a spike sometimes. Oh, and spike allergies are back. I mean... I guess it makes more sense when the spikes are drills and electrified, but yeah, okay. Also, they don't have sides this time that you could safely touch, so at least it makes more sense now, but yeah, those spikes are one-hit kills. Um, I did a lot better than this in my playthrough I did this morning. Oh shoot, really? It might be because of the lag because I'm recording. Um, let, me, let me just turn down some stuff. Okay, I don't know. We'll have to see how much that hits performance and if it may, and what difference it makes the game look. Um, I'm honestly not noticing too much uh, visual-wise right now. Why am I standing inside of him? Um, let's 
As far as storyline goes, they're playing a little bit close to the vest. Um, we do know the, the uh, basic prelude. Um, the there were there's a lot of robots that were being made for uh, arena combat, such as Beck and his brothers, the other mighty numbers. So this virus starts wiping the starts wiping through the whole all the robot systems and turns them all insane. Beck and I think Beck is the only one that was immune to it for unknown reasons. I think it's unknown. Like I said, I haven't been paying attention to this game as nearly as much as I should be. Um, but also Call was either Call is either unaffected because she was made afterwards or was something else that I probably forgot. I think it was explained. No jump, okay. Yeah, right here the controls are feeling a little weird like that. It won't jump when I want it to. But I do think that's because I'm recording right now. When I played it earlier today, it felt just fine. Um, so what else did I have to talk about? I knew I had some stuff. Um, uh, as far as difficulty goes, I guess, it's about on par. I'd say with some of the Mega Man games, though I haven't replayed those recently. Um, as you can see, like, oh shoot. Like, I'm dying a lot, but I'm not exactly the best player. Um, but the enemies will remind you of Mega Man, like the uh, bullet patterns and such. The level design isn't as screen by screen but that's because of the DAS mechanic and it makes everything a bit more uh, easy to navigate. Um, not all the stages will be all confined like this, like the gameplay footage I've seen of the, um, what's the flying mighty number? It's not mighty number five. I think everyone's mighty number five. Everyone should just be near Mighty Number 5. Okay, got past that guy. That's not even the hardest part for me in this level. Um, the, uh, the flying Mighty Number. His stage is really open, as, one, as you might expect for a flying stage. Or for a flying enemy. Oh shoot, I forgot about this guy. Okay, that was a little weird. Just... Maybe I do need to set the settings a lot lower. I think I'm getting used to it though. It's just, it's odd because it's just enough of a delay difference to throw you off, but it's not enough to look like it's really impacting the game too much. Um, ladders are probably my worst enemy in this game so far. Like, it, getting to the area right here where you need to go down them feels a little weird and then there's an area coming up where you have to jump from a moving conveyor belt onto one and it just kills me constantly. Oh shoot. 
Um, the way Beck moves up a ladder is interesting. It's almost like um, like he has to move up a certain amount each time you press up. Like it's a little bit clunky, but it reminds me of you know the NES type things even more. So it doesn't feel too weird. Um, conveyor belts here move you faster than you move. So you actually get pulled behind by them. Uh, okay, this is the second thing I'm talking about. Oh no! That's, that's not why it's hard. Um, on the very left is where you have to jump up and there's a platform over spikes with a ladder down it and you have to jump over to the ladder but the problem is that the top of the ladder where the platform is is blocked by an exploding barrel so you have to get on top of those boxes pretty much just as they fall to onto the conveyor belt and jump over and shoot the explosive barrel that's actually not the hardest part because you can just stay on the left side and you're not in too much danger of falling into the spikes the problem that keeps getting to me for some reason, um, should just be working on getting back there, is because it's a conveyor belt and it moves you faster than you can normally move, I keep wanting to dash and so I keep wanting to dash towards the ladder, but apparently while you're in a dash you can't grab a ladder right now, which just throws me off completely. Thing. If Beck is hanging onto a crate when it's destroyed right now, um, he'll keep hanging onto it after it's been destroyed, which is just a probably just a beta glitch. I mean, I, I doubt they'd want that in the actual game. cool that you can actually grab all three of those by dashing into the middle there and that just shows the range that Beck actually has at least vertically when he's dashing to absorb cells. Don't jump. I'm telling you to jump. Uh, this is an interesting problem because I didn't have problems with that section at all when I was playing today. And I don't want to say it's because I'm tired now, but I think it is because that odd delay because I'm recording. I'll have to mess around with some settings. Um, that, the, uh, the robot right there is what do they call? What do we call it? Patchy? Patches or something like that? Um, he's like a support robot. I'm not sure what triggers him, but once you trigger him, I mean, this trigger specifically is a checkpoint, I think. Which is a little weird because when you die, the checkpoints are actually not noticed. So maybe that's something else. But after you trigger him, when you die and you respawn, uh, he'll show up sometimes and drop items to help you out, like uh, power-ups and a one-up, an extra life, you know. Um, like when I, by the time I got to the boss on this one, I had every time I died, he'd show up and he'd hand me an extra life, and then. Uh, some power-ups. Usually a life stock in a 
power boost. So it meant that I could basically fight the boss infinitely because he kept giving me a life of extra life. And I don't know what triggers him and if that will be in the actual game. I feel like it's a good thing to have now in the beta because it means that the I'm insured to be able to get to beat the boss and play it do it as much fight him as much as I want. But in a finished game, I don't think I would want that. Yeah, this is trolling weird. Like, I think it's the frame rate that must be it. Like, um, when it usually plays, it feels like it's about 60 FPS. This feels way lower. see if I can do this. Alright, here's the hard part. Oh no! Okay, I got two lives. I got two lives. I can do this again. There's also a, uh, the load time when you die feels a little bit long. I mean, it's not bad or anything, like you saw. That was exactly it. Um but I feel like it could be optimized more, maybe, for a finished product. There we go. That's the dastardly ladder. I just have to get... There we go! Okay. Dang. Okay, this, I was curious about this section because it looks like a secret. And I missed it the last time. It's in here. Oh, it is. That's an extra life right there. Oh, sweet. Yeah, just dump me on a landmine. I don't have a life stock, do I? Okay. So if those things will explode when you walk over them, the dashing is pretty much fine. This actually does look really cool in uh, sections like below, down below there, um, which I'll probably end up going there because of this guy. Ah, uh, boy! Oh ho! Oh, hello! Okay. Rip extra life. Oh, there he is. Yeah, this is what I'm telling you about. Okay, so he gave me an extra life and a life stock. I don't... See, the life stock he gives you is life stock with a 2. It's a Roman numeral. 2. Um, I don't think it's actually any different from a basic life stock. Both of them seem to refill my health completely. But um, maybe the difference is that you have a slot 1 and a slot 2. And so he only gives you the one that fits into slot 2. So that you have slot 1 free still. Which is what enemies give you I think. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's nothing. Okay, so that area is interesting because of the landmine standing on here. You either have to get here and walk across it, or just do what I did and dash across it, and then try to recover from the... Uh... Try to 
try to recover from the landmines down there. I will take that. Okay, I'm pretty confident I can make it to the uh, boss now. No! Okay, this is interesting because it worked just fine before. There we go. So there's a there's a cell. Oops, there's a cell over here. This is that thing, and um, you'll notice the patch patches patchy whatever. He drops these two. I think he drops them. Um, they'll give you life boost and power up. Apparently, I haven't. Look, I haven't really looked through it too much. This is just, like I said, getting this just first impressions. I'll do some further digging later on and maybe make some more videos about what I've figured out about how the game works. This is just all I have right now. Oh, shoot! No. Uh, that's actually a pretty tricky section. Hey, Patchy. Okay, give me a life up and a life stock. be down here. I don't want to be down here. No. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a lot trickier now. Luckily I got uh, Patchy. I'm going to call him Patchy. I think that's still the FPS thing is messing with me. I assure you when I was playing it this morning without... Well, no. I was recording then too. Oh no, this is weird because when I was recording earlier it played fine. Um... Who knows? So yeah, this is what it's talking about. Because he gives me a life, an extra life, I can do this sex infinitely. And it's the same way once I get to the boss too. Um, as for dashing goes, um, Another thing I noticed is you can't do a dash jump like uh, Mega Man X I think could have. Like you, you just do a dash and in the middle of it you jump. Okay, I think I got this. Nope, okay. Wonderful! Oh, there's Patchy. Hello! Okay, this is the boss, I think. Whoo, sweet. Okay.
That is actually a pretty epic intro. Um, so you'll notice the uh, the boss fight style is kind of similar to at least this fight is similar to Mega Man, where you have a confiscated. It's not. What is that word? I was looking for it earlier when I recorded too. It's uh, not congested. Okay. It's fine, I swear. You have um. Really small room. And, um, you just gotta deal with the whole tight quarters. Um, though oddly enough, the, the fight, the boss fight, the boss itself feels like he, a bit more like he was taken from Mega Man X, which I've only played I should note here, I've only played a little bit, like the first few stages of the original Mega Man X, and then I've played Mega Man ZX. I beat the first Mega Man Z, and then I, I beat Mega Man ZX. But as far as the uh, post-classic Mega Mans go, that's not all I've played. So if I'm getting something wrong here, I'm sorry. But, uh, so, my main concern actually with fighting him is his jumping. Because he likes to jump when I like to jump. Okay, now he's gonna do, use the gun on his head. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that thing one-shot me. Um, and then, if you notice, the bullet was left over in the wall. It, he can um, he can activate it to do a fire this huge fire attack that takes up like half the screen. So th this is far from easy, at least for me. No. Um, so the the stabilization mechanic kind of makes you forces you to stop attacking him after a certain point because after that it after he's stabilized it doesn't do it you don't do any damage. So it kind of uh, changes the pace of a fight a little bit. Use that livestock. Okay, so he's invinci he's invincible when he does this. Okay, so right now I want to stay on the other side of the room. Like, there's that attack. Oh, it's lasted longer than I thought it did. Okay, I almost got him. Now, oh, see? I wants to jump when I want to jump. And, uh,. That part there where he shoots below and then he shoots up, that's kind of what I was talking about when I wish you could dash through bullets. It's more or less stuff like that. I mean, if you could dash through bullets like that, I think it would... I mean, it's obviously something that would need playtesting, but it looks like it would keep the pace of the game up a, a bit better. 
if you didn't have to stop each time a bullet was there, and it didn't even have to be easy to do necessarily. Like I said, if it's just frames. Right now, that's my biggest suggestion for the game. Also, you can't dash. Oh yeah, I talked about dashing through enemies. Right now, you can only dash through an enemy if they're destabilized. has a huge health bar. Like compared, I think compared to the Mega Man games where everyone had a health bar. What? That? What? Shoot. Yeah, so anyway, the, the uh, apparently you have to do a fifth of his health before he's destabilized. At least this one. At least my number five for right now. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, health bars. Like in in Mega Man, the enemies had health bars that were the same size as yours, so it was a fair fight. It, pretty much, it was a fair fight. This guy, he has a health bar easily twice my size. I think I'm going too early, and so I'm hitting his his spikes on the back. Just the end of his hitbox was that problem there. Yeah, this fight's pretty much over. Yeah, there we go. Um. So I guess when you die, you lose your score too, right now. Which... I'm not sure how I feel about that, because it's almost inevitable that you're kinda gonna die on the stage. I mean, obviously, you can, you can beat the whole game without dying, but... Especially for a casual playthrough, you're gonna... you're probably gonna die a lot. So losing your entire score... Let's you I mean I don't really know why the score is there, kinda like I didn't know why there was a score in the original Super Mario Bros. Other than because people were st still had a fetish for arcade games. And the way they used them in arcade games was to make you wanna play more. You know, get the high score. But, um, it still has that charm to it. Like, if you wanted to, you could play this game in a score attack type thing. But it just doesn't feel like it's made for it. I, well, I don't know. I'm, I might be speaking too soon, or too ras or too rashly. I don't hate that there's a score there. I just question its uh, its reasoning for existence. Okay, so the bullet's going to be on this end of the screen now. I 
don't have the life stuff, do I? Oh boy. They're gonna be tight. They're gonna be tight. And now I'm dead. I think that was the closest I've ever gotten. Um. So I'm actually wondering if I should really keep how keep recording this. If you're, that's just gonna be. It's just gonna be me dying to the boss over and over again. Um. I honestly don't think I have too much else to say. Um. I really like the game. I really like the the fast-paced nature of it. I like the dash move. It it needs tweaking. Like I really think it might be better with the uh, with some invincibility frames to it. Um, the de the level design in this stage feels pretty good. It was challenging enough in sections. And I guess if it wasn't for this uh, frame rate issue that maybe I don't have anymore, it wouldn't feel as uh, cheaty if I didn't have that frame rate issue. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm really looking forward to the uh, the finished product. And, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look into specifics of the engine and tricks, and I might have more videos up soon, so look up, look out for that. Uh, thank you for watching. And I guess when I finally do beat the boss, I'll, pr I might cut that in just because, and show off the ending, I guess. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. D. I will take it. Okay. Uh, nothing different. Um. It doesn't look like I can change form. So I guess that's it. I guess that's the uh, the end of the demo. Or the not the demo, the beta. It's, uh, it's right now. That's all we have. Okay. Well, I know I've already said it like twice in the last part of the video, but I'm gonna say it again. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all uh, keep an eye out for. Uh, more videos if I make some up after I uh, dig into the engine a bit more. So, thank you and goodbye. Uh, popping in just for a minute at uh, right now. Um, I noticed when I pause there is a new mode added to my mode list. So I'm just saying. I don't know how to access it because all the buttons that are supposed to be doing that aren't aren't doing that. Like not on the keyboard either. So 
I guess I do have it. It's right there, but it's, uh, I don't have access to use it. So anyway, I, I just thought I'd add this in there.